guys welcome to my youtube channel analytical chemistry i hope that you all are doing good and well and enjoying your day so guys today we are here with another new topic of analytical chemistry which is very very important and very helpful for you and similarly related to our previous video topic i hope that you already watched it completely if you uh, don't watch it then go and watch completely like and subscribe it also so let's start our this video Uh, with the topic which is the atomic emission spectroscopy and our previous video is on the atomic absorption spectroscopy so let's start with the atomic um, emission spectroscopy it includes emission spectrum what is emission spectrum the collection of the spectral lines produced by an excited atom is called the emission spectrum and will be character characteristics of that atom types of emission spectrums are three including line emission spectrum band emission spectrum continuous emission spectrum we are going to discuss at what are the line emission spectrum it consists of a sharply defined and often widely and irregularly spaced individual lines of a single wavelength this spectra are the characteristic of element also called atomic spectrum you can see here clearly picture of the line emission spectro uh, spectrum further we have band emission spectrum or it is also called the molecular spectrum it consists of a group of lines each of which is a single wavelength that become closely spaced as they approach the end of band they are also called the molecular spectrum and you can see clearly picture of the band emission spectrum third one is the continuous spectrum and they are obtained when solid are heated to in condenses and they are characterized by the absence of any sharp lines as a function of the wavelength on the other hand when gases and vapors are heated to high temperature that they yield a series of bands or lines so this one is the continuous spectrum atomic emission spectroscopy so it is an analytical technique that measures the concentration of elements in a sample and it makes a use of the emission of light by these element in order to measure the concentration so it is also called the flame atomic emission spectroscopy or the flame photometry and uh, therefore the emission spectroscope is considered to be very useful in electrical tool of the analysis consisting of the anal elemental analysis of the metal identification and the quantitative determination of the metallic elements estimation of the metal ores that is arsenic and so many other things etc the most important thing is the principle of the atomic emission spectroscopy is what it is an atomized and analyte atoms are excited to the higher energy levels and the light concentration is determined from the amount of emission and here you can see the picture and the equation delta e is equal to e1 minus e2 and final equation is delta e is equal to hc over lambda and here also the emission is directly proportional to the concentration one thing of the um, any topic in the analytical chemistry includes its instrumentation so it is the same as that of the atomic absorption but without the presence of the source here you cannot use the source it has three principal components including atomizers monochromator detectors readout devices you can see clearly the picture where you can add it a sample acetylene and air oxidant into and then draining sample and it goes to the uh, monochromator then further you can see grating here in the photomultiplier tube and the detectors what are the atomizers atomic emission requires a means of converting an analyte solid liquid or solution from a free gaseous atoms and flame is generally employed for such molecules that do not need either very high temperature for the excitation or the dissociation into the atoms flames are comparatively inexpensive and the flame 1700 to 3400 degrees centigrade is most useful for the elements with relatively low excitation energies monochromator and likely the atomic absorption it is also an important part and it is used to separate out all the thousands of lines and it has two types prisms and grating monochromator when the light passes through a prism it emerges out in the form of line or the beam grating monochromator it gives a better results it replaced prisms with the which gives linear depression further we have a detector it includes selected wavelength by the monochromator is directed into the detector whose function is to convert the light signal into an electrical signal proportional to the light intensity it includes two types which are the photographic detector it includes qualitative analysis and the photomultiplier detectors include quantitative analysis uh, you have the photographic uh, detector 
For quantitative analysis, photographic plate is used on which all the emission lines from the samples are recorded. And photomultiplier detectors are extremely sensitive detectors of light in the ultraviolet visible and near infrared region. They include 10 power is to 8 incident light. So guys, this is our video on the atomic emission spectroscopy. If you like it, go and... Uh, like and subscribe my channel and wait for further new important videos of the analytical chemistry which are very helpful for you so allah fizz